the next form of cell death that we are going to start with is a very important topic in terms of the MCQs that we have, a very favorite with the examiners amongst all the types of cell deaths that we have. This is known as apoptosis. This is known as apoptosis. Now, students, if you just go into a slight historical aspect of this word, this takes its origin from a Greek word which means falling off. What is falling off? You will understand as we proceed with the mechanism of this. First and foremost, that one definition that everyone remembers by heart, right from the day as they enter medical school till the rest of their life, is that apoptosis is programmed cell death. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. Right? Now, cell death, everyone understands. We've already discussed. But we've added a term over here, programmed. Now, what is the meaning of this programmed? Means there are certain genes that are regulating this apoptosis. This is going to be regulated by certain genes. Now, students, this is that one list which most of the medical students tend to fear the most. Something that you fear, the examiners will give maximally in the exam. So let's make a simplified version of this list today. What are the genes that are going to control apoptosis? So we have divided them into three categories. The first category is the sensors. Now whenever the body has any injury, any insult, the body has cells and cells have sensors which are going to sense that insult. What are those sensors? These include BIM, BID, BAD. So some similar sounding rhyming words, BIM, BID, BAD. Along with that we have NOXA and PUMA. So remember these, all of these are the sensors, BIM, BID, BAD, NOXA and PUMA. The second one that we have, the second list of genes that we need to know, genes which increase apoptosis. What do we call them? We call them pro-apoptotic genes. So they come under the category of pro-apoptotic. What are the genes, what are the uh, list that we need to know under this? This will include the first and the most important that is P53. First and most important. Other than that it includes BAC, something similar sounding on the C add an inverted C so backs so we had back then we had backs and now we have B C L X S so I told you some really tough words coming your way P53 back backs and B C L X S will be pro apoptotic if you've done pro you will also do anti so that becomes our third in the list the third one that we have which regulates apoptosis is anti apoptotic is anti apoptotic what do we have in this particular list we have bcl2 mcl1 and bcl xl now very commonly the question comes which of these is pro apoptotic which of these is anti apoptotic this list is confusing, I agree. How can we simplify this for our learning purpose? Now just focus on the anti-apoptotic category. BCL2 has L, MCL1 has L, BCLXL has these two Ls. So how you can remember this is everything in the option that will have the letter L will be anti-apoptotic. Everything will be anti-apoptotic which has the letter L. BCL2, MCL1 and BCLXL. Now which of these other proteins also has L? That is this one, BCLXS. But this is coming under the pro-apoptotic category. So how will you avoid this confusion in the exam? One is BCLXL and one is BCLXL. BCLXS, S means stimulate. So stimulate means it will be 
proapoptotic l means lower l means lower so it will be anti apoptotic so with this way of mugging up i'm sure this list will become slightly simpler for you also one question from this list only that will come up which out of these is both pro apoptotic and anti apoptotic now you can see there is one molecule that is coming in both the lists bcl for pro apoptotic it is bcl xs for anti apoptotic it is bcl xl so i can say that the entire bcl family if i broadly say entire bcl family this can be both pro apoptotic also as well as anti apoptotic also